Today I'm going to talk about Adobe Creative Cloud Express or just Adobe Express. Adobe Express replaced Adobe Spark. It's free on the web and mobile, both Android and iPad and iPhone. You can continue to use it forever at no cost and no credit card is required. It is powered by Photoshop, Premiere Pro, and Ac Acrobat, yet simple for everyone to use. However, there is a slight learning curve. As anything, it takes a little time to get used to it. You can pick from thousands of unique templates to make logos, social content, banners, cards, videos. You can trim resize, merge, change the speed of, reverse, and convert videos to mp4. It took me 1 minute and 19 seconds to convert a .mov to an mp4 and it did a good job. It converts images to GIFs, JPEG, PNG, and SVG. It's got thousands of Adobe fonts and it's got 2 gigabytes of storage. As you can figure out, everything is saved in the cloud and is saved automatically. Now the premium, if you want the premium, it costs $9.99 a month, but you can cancel anytime. Now if you have the Adobe Cloud, it's included. There's 100 gigabytes of storage in the premium, 160 million royalty-free Adobe stock collection photos, 20,000 Adobe fonts, and the premium features uh, things like refine cutout, resize, and graphic groups. But I don't think you will need the premium, but I'm sure if you can figure it out for yourself after using it for a while. And there is more. Got a website builder. If you don't have Dreamweaver, you might want to consider this website builder. And it's hosted by Adobe. Sometimes you don't need a traditional website to get your message across. Adobe Express is ideal for projects that don't require more than one page, such as portfolios, resumes, presentations, blog posts, and photo galleries. Adobe Express can showcase a product catalog, advertise a special offer, or act as a weekly or monthly newsletter for businesses. No matter what you create with Adobe Express, you can do it without spending a penny. Adobe Express is available on the web and mobile from a single account. Additionally, Adobe hosts Adobe Express, so you don't need to sign up for web hosting to publish your pages. When your page is complete, all you do is click Share to get a new unique URL. Your page is now ready to be shared across social media platforms, emailed, or added to newsletters and other publications. The Share tool can also generate a snippet of code that allows you to embed your new page into an existing website by pasting the code into your site files. I guess they've thought of everything. And you know what? I am just falling in love with Adobe Express. I've used it uh, quite a bit just trying to get used to this or get ready for this uh, briefing. And I have really gotten so I really like it. And when you first look at Adobe Express, of course, you go on to ex express.adobe.com, and there you can sign up if you've not already signed up for a free account. You'll need an Adobe account, however, which is free. So when I go into it, I just go to express.adobe.com, and it comes right into my page. Of course, it's uh, cash has figured it's me. Anyway, when you first open it up, it looks like this. When you go to Home, and clicking on home brings you to the same place here and it gives you some things to look at but when I first log on if I have something in mind what you do is you go over here to this plus click on it and it tells you what it does of 
course, I didn't really want to do that. Anyway, I uh, clicked on View All and it brought me to everything on the big page. So you can uh, customize size your graphics, custom size your graphics uh, from your photo if you want to. Go over here, it says from your photo, from templates. You can do an Instagram story, an Instagram post, Facebook post, logo, flyers, collages, cards, web pages, with, which we've talked about, and a video. Now this is some of the quick actions that they have over here. For quick actions, you want to resize an image, you want to remove a background, and it does a wonderful job at removing a background. I'll show you. Convert to JPEG, convert to ping, crop image, convert to SVG, or a new one, you can generate a QR code, which I have done and it works good. On videos, you can trim, you can resize, you can merge, convert to GIF, crop video, change speed, convert to MP4, or reverse your video. And using Adobe uh, PDF generator, you can convert to PDF, you can convert from PDF, you can edit text and images, you can organize your pages, and you can combine files. This is the same thing they have on the pro version. Okay, so getting out of this and coming here just to look to see what you've got. Of course, this says custom size. If you want to size something in a custom size, you just click on this. You've got an Instagram story. It's right here. And I don't have Instagram, but I do have Facebook. I'm clicking on Facebook. It gives you all kinds of templates that you can use. And if you want to view all, I'm going to click over here. And it will let you view them all. Just letting you look to see all what all's here. I did a couple of Facebook posts that turned out really good and easy to do. So I was just trying to find something that we might look at to do. Um, if you have a business, for instance, it has like grand opening and stuff like that. Oh, anything that has the uh, crown is that you have the pro version. And since I've got uh, the cloud, I have the pro version. So let's just click on free up here, just so we don't get bothered by the premiums. Well, let's just click on this. Well, thank you. It says, thank you. We are so grateful to have shared this wonderful day with you. And then I'm not going to go ahead and put my name in here. Of course, that was a long time ago when I got married. But anyway, say you got this and you like it. Or maybe you want to say, change something. And when you click on it, it comes up over here on the right that you can make any changes you want to. We are so grateful to have shared this wonderful day with you. This day with you. Thank you for everything. Period. And then come down here, make the changes over here. Let's put from Jean and Gay Carnes. Not that I'm going to put it on Facebook, you understand. I'm just showing you how we can do it. Now, when you put your wording in here, <clears throat> it comes, it gives you some, ch some changes that you can make if you want to. For instance, if you like all bold, or maybe this. But anyway, that's what it does. It just uh, gives you some changes so you, you can use them if you want to. Okay? And say we love it. Now, 
as you can see, it's saving all the time up here, and it has saved. So let's share it. And let's, if we want to publish it, okay, if we want to schedule it, we can schedule it on the calendar to send it to Facebook, say, next week or tomorrow or right now. You can invite somebody, make a template if you want to, to use again, or send to Google Drive. So let's schedule. And up pops the calendar, but it wants to say, okay, what do you want? I want to send it here. As I've already set this one up. Publish date, today's date. You can remove the publish date to create an unscheduled post if you want to. Let's just, let's not do that. Let's do, let's do our unscheduled post. Hmm? Okay, uh, we could call this a draft post because I don't want to, I don't want to put it on Facebook if you know what I mean. Um, so and we could preview it, and that's what it would look like on Facebook. Really does a nice job. Okay, so I'm going to get out of this and let's go back to Adobe Express. I can't tell you how many times I've clicked over here to go back or click somewhere else and, and then had to bring up the uh, bring up the web again. Okay, anyway, uh, let's see. Let's go to now if you want okay, we've kind of seen this. As you, you can go across like this. They even have a menu. If you had a business and you wanted to have a menu, or if you're if you actually did someone's menus, it's already here for you. And they've got several of them. So if we want to, like, say, try a quick action, we can come right here. It's some of the things we've already been through. Remove a background. Let's remove a background. Okay, you can drag, drag an image over here. I had some. Let's see. Just for the heck of it, I'm going to bring this image over here. You notice where it's powered by Adobe Photoshop. With this program, it's so easy. You can, like, you don't have to open a bunch of stuff. You can just go to this and do a lot of your actions right now, you know? So you can customize it or you can download it. Download it. Just click on download. It's downloading. It takes a little while. It must be a pretty big picture. My project, and I'm going to just save it. I could save it, but I, I'm, I don't intend to use it, so let's go back home. How about if we do a QR, QR code? Generate QR code. So easy. And I've already done this, so it looks pretty good. Just put in the website here, create the QR code. You can use the file code, whatever you want. A ping, a JPEG, a SVG. Are you and you can change the color, the style. Anyway, I just kept it like it was, and it really was good. It ended up uh, working for me. Your yeah, image has been downloaded. Okay, I'm just I'm not going to go to the trouble of saving it with a, a name. You can see how easy this is. Try a quick action, popular. This is some of the popular ones. We've already done two. Uh, Oh, I didn't resize the image, but it's easy. Convert convert to a GIF, convert to an MP4, resize video, merge videos, change speed. I may try to merge videos when I get through with this video. Okay, let's see other PDF. Convert to a PDF, convert from a PDF, uh, edit text and images, organize pages, and combine files. All very neat things to do.
Oh, well, you know, you get 15 recommended templates. Oh, I did this one. Or actually, it was this one. Everybody's going to have a Halloween party, right? It says uh, the, your image has been downloaded. Keep editing. And I tried to get out of it, but it didn't let me. Maybe it's over here. No, it's not. It's going to make me try Photoshop, isn't it? I don't want to. Okay. <laughs> anyway. All right. So showing you how easy this is to, to do. I've got Halloween party, and I think I want to keep it that. Okay, come one, come all. Let's click on it. Come one, come all. Come one, come all to our Halloween party. That's good, just like it is. And, of course, down here it gives you some suggestions. Come one, come all. I like that. Okay. Come over here and uh, change the time. It's not going to be on October the... Uh, well, it could be October the 31st, Halloween. Change your, your uh, address. And RSVP, you would want to change the name and the telephone number or whatever. Okay, now. This is, you can make some changes on your stuff a little bit here. Shape. Mm, I don't think I want to change the shape. Actually, I don't want to do anything. So, but I wanted to show you something here. If you come over here and search, and let's say, let's search for Halloween. See what they come up with. Look at here, Horror Night. Let's bring that over. Now you can double click on it and bring it over here. But anyway, as you can see, it brought it where it wanted to. Horror Night. But it says, enjoy your favorite classic horror time, film uh, in the comforts of your own home. Well, I don't want that because we're not going to have a movie. <laughs> anyway, I, I just deleted the text. I think if I, oh, okay, it, took, it just took it all away. So, now right here is where your layers are. Now, I think the spider is at a good place, but let's go ahead. I click on this little bat and bring them over here. I think we need, you know, the bats and kind of bring them down a little bit. Bring Horror Night down a little bit. But that kind of fits, doesn't it? And you can change the background if you want to. What would we change it to? I can't imagine. If you edit background, it says replace. Um, I don't want to go to my libraries, or do I? No, I don't think I do. Okay. Backgrounds right here. Hmm. I don't think I like that. Hmm. That wouldn't be too bad, but I kind of like it the way it was. Mm -mm, don't like that. Hmm. Anyway, that gives you an idea what you can do. And while I've been doing this, whether I like it or not, it's uh, gonna it's been saving all the time, and it'll be down in my projects. See, it's still saving. And it's saving all along, too. I was just looking over here. Flip, You can flip it any way you want to. Hmm. Oops. I think I like it that way. But you can flip it any way you want to. And you could change the color if you want to. And there's other things you can do. You can duplicate it. I 
think we just, I think we need one up there. Okay. Okay, it's already saved. Okay. Now, if you look right down here at the bottom, this is all the, this is the ones that I've done before. And this is that thank you that we just did. The uh, background we removed. Then uh, you go over here to, over here, and if I click on it, I can bring it up and edit it. This is the one I did before. So you can see how I, how I did it. But anyway, go back over here. And also, you can go to the schedule is if you want to schedule any of the uh, stuff to social media. But libraries is another one that uh, I thought, my goodness. Now this goes to my libraries in uh, the cloud that Adobe has already captured for me, things I've worked on before. So you could actually go here and get something. They have yours, okay, and those shared with you. I, have, I don't have any shared with me. But then they have public libraries. And this is where other people have shared their stuff with us or anybody. It says view all public libraries. I didn't get a handle on that, but uh, uh, and I don't have a library right now, so uh, I, d I didn't really look into this. But mainly this is people that have shared with the Adobe community. I'm going to go home. I'm going to go down here. Now this is templates, okay? Some really good templates. Now this, I took this one right here. And I added, uh, I'll show you what I did, I think. I said kind of people are my kind of people. And actually I put an Eastern Star logo right here. And I guess it, I guess it didn't have time to save. But you can do all kinds of things. And of course this is some other things you can do. Kind people are my people. You go girl. Or I need some uh, retail, I, kind, oh, whoops, <laughs> kind people are my kind of people, whoops. It didn't change it like I thought it would, but it, it's putting it in different formats for you. Let's go to the templates again. Oh, let's actually get out of there and let's go to the Whoops, I've already passed up the templates, didn't I? Okay, here's some more templates. But anyway, you get an, you get the idea of what, you know, just go through them, use whatever you want to, and change the words to protect the innocent, etc. <laughs> anyway, let's just start with some popular templates. So apparently people are using these a whole lot. So uh, all kinds of good stuff. You got this? This would be a kind of neat thing to put on Facebook. The Instagram stories that they have here. Instagram posts. So you don't have to start from scratch. Trending backgrounds. Facebook posts. I, I took one of these and I don't think, I think I deleted it already. But I opened this one up. And I took all of this off and I added my own stuff over here. So, and that worked out real good. Anyway, you can just you can just see for yourself what good stuff they have. Now then they tell you a little bit more stuff about uh, apps included with Adobe Express. Uh, Adobe Express mobile app, Premiere Rush. It says go deeper with video, shoot, edit, and share on the go. Photoshop Express. So apparently you can use the full programs. And flyers, here's a bunch of flyers. Collages, 
I, I've, I've made a lot of collages in my life, but I uh, haven't made one recently. Book covers, album covers, YouTube thumbnails. Uh, let's see, I think I've got some stuff that uh, Kay did. And this, she made a Friends of uh, Hospice cover for a uh, cover photo. And I'm bringing up Photoshop, so hopefully you'll be able to see that. While it's, while it's coming up, I'm going to just go here and, of course, they're talking about resumes, invitations, menus. See, they've got tons of menus. Now, say you want to learn how to do something. These are some tutorials. They're not too good, however. You know, I started uh, playing them uh, and just looking at it, and they, they didn't really help for me to start with Adobe Express. I went to YouTube and looked at a few videos. But anyway, and down here, of course, is my what I have already. And let me see what Photoshop has. I tell you what, Photoshop takes a long time to open in my on my computer, probably because it's so old. Now, if you're interested, while well, it's wait, while well, we're waiting, but if it's if you're interested in brands, I uploaded my son's brand right here, and it took some and put them, you know, on a few little pictures, uh, and I wasn't really that enamored with it, but at least I have it where I can do something with it. And of course, these are all my projects. If you click on the projects, they'll come up here and you won't have to look at them down at the bottom. Okay. Well, I've made a lot of Halloween parties, haven't I? Um, and there are pro properties. I did a website called Bandera Properties. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go to the web and show you how to go about that, doing that. So what it's, what it's doing is saving everything you do. Now, if you want to get rid of something, you go up here to the three dots and click on it. You can share, make a template, duplicate, move, rename, download, delete, report abuse. I don't know why you'd report abuse on yourself. Oh, well, maybe it's on something that you got from somewhere else. Delete. And that takes care of it. Let me see if Photoshop is, yeah, okay, this is, this is what Kay made using uh, Adobe Express. Isn't it nice? I think she made this for YouTube. We'll ask her. Anyway, that's what she did. Now, let's go back to projects and let's go to web page. So it starts out right here, and you just start working on it. Okay, so we've got this. Let's say I want to add a photo. And say I want one of these, but say I don't want one of these. Let's upload a photo. Let's go to I think I've got some stuff on the desktop. Okay, this, I have something that we put, and we're going to see what this looks like. This is what I had on our old website, which I am redoing. See what it looks like. Ah, not too bad. Not too bad at all. All right. Okay, now, say you want something else. Say you want some more text. And you can, of course, you can do it on the left. You can center it. Uh, I'm going to hit that, and then I'm going to go over to Pandera Properties, a file that I have on the 
on my desktop, of course. I put everything on the desktop. <laughs> and I'm going to go to a Word document that I put some words in that I took off the old website. So let me see. Let me go here first. Um, whoops. Went away, didn't it? Text. Okay, I'm going to copy some stuff I have in a Word document. Did a control C and I'm going to do a control V here. Then I'm going to add some stuff here. And I'm going to add some more text. And I'm going to see what happens here. I've got some bulleted items that uh, I pasted them before and they didn't bulletize. I had to do it uh, manually. Let's see what happens. It did it, but it but it still didn't do it right. See, it left uh, the old text, the wooden text. It was the old bullet, but it didn't look like it doesn't look like a bullet. So let's do something here. Let's we're going to go here again, and I'm going to do a split layout. And I'm going to add an image here. I'm going to drag it and see what happens. I don't think it's going to do it. Okay, let's say add an image and upload an image. See, it's just uh, keep doing it till you get it right. Now, if you put a little bit of text, yeah, we can say something like this is a picture of the Texas Hill Country. Don't you want, don't you want a house built on this property? Anyway, you see how easy it is. So it centers it all automatically. You could put a, they call it a glide show, but I didn't like the way it looked. It's uh, um, it's sort of like a slideshow, but not a slideshow. So uh, let's do another text. And let's, uh, I'm gonna cut this short. Let's preview it. You know, given a little uh, effort, you can really do a really nice website. Here we go. Okay, and that's about it that I can think of that, uh, that you might need to know about. Of course, if you go to shapes and you want to make any kind of shape, here they are. All kinds of shapes, photos, design assets, all kinds of little things you can use and doing your stuff. Uh, see, I made a, uh, uh, let me see if I still have it. Go to my projects, if I still have it here. I added snow, snow yeah, here, here it is right here. This is, I made this, I made this one. I wanted some little snowflakes right here. 
Oh, see, we're getting ready. You're invited to Saw's a Day Mug Christmas Party at, and we don't have everything lined up yet, December the 8th at 6 p.m. and, you know, who to contact and little snowflakes for the winter. Anyway, I thought that was kind of cute. You have to keep going back, which is, you know, now you can see what I just made, the Bender Properties website. Um, this is what I did uh, for Facebook. This was an iron-on class that we're going to have October the 1st. And instead of having all that other stuff on the right, I put the possible shirts you could make on the right side here. If I go to Facebook, maybe we'll see it or see something, see some of the things. Um, Ashley, here's where they go. You can see that kind of people are kind of people are my people. Okay, and this is what it looked like when I uh, put it on Facebook. Oops, got two of them. Oh, I like this me when I see any type of chocolate, but I think there are more people who also feel this way. That was another thing, something to put on Facebook. And I put this, don't forget to stop and smell the flowers. You can see them in my projects when I go there. But anyway, that's what that looks like. And that about does it. And if you have any questions, I'll be right here.